Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Welcome to the documentation overview and installation of the Divi Events Calendar plugin. All right, so right here we are. We're in the documentation area, and this is at pacreative.com slash docs slash Divi Events Calendar. And so everything you need to know about using the plugin can be found in this area at this URL. So you can see on the side, we have lots of other documentation articles. And then here on the main page, we'll start with the video. That's the one you're watching right now. And then we have written installation instructions to start out and then getting started, what you should do first, some next steps, and then more information and all of our guides. And we talk about plugin updates, et cetera here. All right, so let's get started. Basically, I'm just gonna walk you through very quickly how to install our plugin and what it has to offer. All right, so obviously we need to have the Divi theme installed first. And then secondly, most important is that our plugin is completely based on the events calendar. Now this is the popular free plugin for WordPress that's in the WordPress repository. So you would have to have that installed first. If you don't, you will get a little message saying, hey, you need to install the events calendar. But let's just go over to a website here and I'll walk you through this. So basically just go to plugins, add new. And like I said, you'll need to have the events calendar installed. So go ahead and type that in. And then you'll see it here. Go ahead and install that. And then click on activate. And so at this point, you'll want to be familiar with their settings. We do have a video on adding and managing events. That's a separate video over here. You can see that here, how to add and manage events. And of course, we'll need to have some events set up in order for this to really work well. I mean, obviously we have to have an event to show it in our module. So you'll have to at least have some events set up. Now, the next step would be installing our plugin, the Divi events calendar. So go ahead and click on add new and then click on upload plugin. From here, choose the file and then you'll go find it on your computer and then click install now. Once that uploads, go ahead and activate the plugin. At this point, you can start adding events. So you can go up here to events, add new, and then just start adding those. All right, and so now I'm gonna jump over to our demo site because that site actually has events. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to show you how the modules actually work because we need events and I don't wanna take the time and waste your time adding them. So over here on our demo, I'm just gonna enable the visual builder. All right, so you basically just go to your normal Divi pages and then you can just you know add your column layouts, whatever. But if you type EV, but if you type EV like this, you'll see our modules show up. So we have the calendar view, the events feed, and then the carousel. Now the events page you would wanna use on the events page um, template in the theme builder, all right? So we could use like events feed right here, and then that'll show up, and then it displays a feed. Here you can just adjust all of these settings. There's just a lot of custom settings. You can adjust the layout, uh, and customize every single part of this. Everything here is customizable. And of course we have a full video on that. So you can go check out the one on how to use the events feed module. We also have all of these demo layouts that you can see how we can use the events feed module and how they are laid out, you know, image left, details right, one and two columns. All of these are layouts that you can go and browse. So for example, if I click on this one, it's showing you some of the layouts that are possible using the plugin. Here we're showing the icons and labels. So there's just a ton of features here. The other one would be the calendar. So you can type that in. And then this one is a calendar view. So again, this is just another different way that you might choose to display your events. This has a tooltip when you hover. Everything here is customizable. Everything you see is customizable. We have settings for everything. This video is with the release of 2.0, so we could be adding even more features in the future. So, you know, this video may need to be updated once we add new features. Everything here that you could possibly need to customize. And of course, we have a video on that, how to use the events calendar module. Here we have a couple of demos of the events calendar. 
So basically we have this one here so far, we're gonna be adding more, but this is just a stylized one where you can see that I've customized the text, the navigation buttons, the days of the week, the border, you know, the, the border around the whole thing, and then the upcoming events, this toll tip I've customized. Everything here is customizable and you can make this very beautiful. The other one we have is a carousel module. This one's new with 2.0. Basically, this is similar to the events feed module, but you get all the carousel features, you know, like the navigation arrows and dots, and then all of the settings that relate to that. So we have carousel options here, and then in the design tab, there's even more, you know, styling of these icons and, and the dots and everything like that. We have a full video on how to use the events carousel module that you should definitely check out. We also have demos here of the events carousel module in action. So you can go choose one of them, basically just choose a layout and you can see these. So here we have the image on the left, details on the right with one and two columns. And we're just showing various options here that you have. Now for the events page module, the fourth one, you have to go to the theme builder. What this is doing is overriding the single events page. Here's an example of the default events page without using our plugin. This is just how it comes in and you would have to use CSS and PHP to style this by default. You know, there's no way to do this in Divi with the events calendar. And so with the release of 2.0, we added the events page module and this works by adding our module to the theme builder template. So I'll just go ahead and open up one of these real quick and show you the layout that I created using our module multiple times on the page. Here's a image showing the featured image and the post, and then each one of these are different events page modules. So I just added them multiple times, and then inside the module, we just selected different features to show here under elements. Here's a demo of how that would look. And again, you can mix and match any of the regular Divi modules with our events page module. So this totally gives you freedom to customize the single events page. This is the only plugin that does this for Divi. This is a unique solution and we are thrilled to be offering this. And of course we have a full video on that, how to use the events page module. Be sure to check out that as well. Now we also have other articles here. The top here we have, you might see that it says settings. And so basically each one of these is a list of all the settings in the module. And this kind of acts like a change log and a roadmap all at once. So here you can see it lists all the features and you'll see the little version number next to it. And that's when it came out. So like this here, this option came out in version 1.4 and that gives you a glimpse into the future. Here you can see about showing featured events in a future version. So it kind of is a list, all these labels, and these are the help text that you see in the actual module, and then also kind of gives you a glimpse of what's coming and what all is possible. If you're like, oh, I wonder if the module can do that, you can come here and look at this. So that's the settings and features section. Then we have the how-to guides. We also have guides on adding and managing events and then creating the events archive page, and then also on making the event category pages, and we're going to be adding more and more. The resources here, we have important update information that will change based on what version we're on. And then we have some various resources here, like customizing it, and you can get all the demo layouts that I showed you for free. Um, frequently asked questions, be sure to check that out. And then the change log, roadmap, and demos. So definitely be checking these resources out. Then we are starting a new thing, bonus tutorials. Basically, it's tutorials that relate to the plugin, but they're ones that are not necessarily documentation. It's just like additional things that you might wanna do that are fun to do. So this one is a compact list of events. So you can kind of see how we've styled this to make it the events feed module into a list. So we're gonna be adding more of those as well. All right, and then as far as updating the plugin, this will work just like any other plugin. You'll go into your dashboard and you'll see the little notice there that, that an update is available and you can go ahead and just click update and you'll have the latest version. So this pretty much wraps up our overview of the documentation. We do cover everything here and we encourage you to please check out everything 
before asking us for help. We're very, very happy to help. Um, but what I want to point out is that every time we get a question, every time someone has a question about how to do something, we make note of that and we update the documentation because we want our documentation to be thorough and very helpful. So literally, if someone asks a question that, you know, I was like, oh, I didn't realize people would have that question, I go and put it in the FAQ page or we'll update an article to make it explain something better. So we really do keep up with that and we encourage you to check it out. And if you have any issues, um, any questions, any pre-sale questions, where, whatever stage you're at here, be sure to let us know. And you can do that at the bottom of every document here. There's a contact form right here that is on the bottom of each one of these articles. So just let us know. Hope you enjoy using this plugin.